What's up folks? Welcome back to the garage. Today's goal is to finish this back door of my Volvo 145. 145, yes. <laughs> and um, next I will show you what will be the next phases. I have used the phosphoric acid. Um, and uh, now it's time to put the primer and the filler and the paint. And after the paint has dried, I will fit the, the window and uh, uh, all the closing mechanism and so on. Uh, but after the intro, I will tell you more. The acid has been doing its work about 40, uh, 24 hours and uh, as you can see, for example here, it has done a great job, helps me a lot. I put quite a lot acid on, on that side too, you can see there's a quite big rust issue still, but it's much much better and I think I will, I tested the, uh, the primer, as you can see it's a uh, almost the right color and I have the primer so next I will uh, sand the frame from both sides and I first then I will clean it with the with the cleaner and uh, then I will spray the primer and let it dry for a while and then I will use the filler and uh, I have ordered uh, I, I don't know, this must be over one year old, this paint, but it's still usable from uh, automalit.eu. Some uh, Volvo paint with the right color. So I will use that. And I have the filler here. Uh, what I... Yes! <laughs> Check what I just got today. I got a delivery. Uh, it's a secret, but I might have mentioned about that in uh, my previous videos and uh, it will be a secret for a while, but I will do a quite soon video about that. But next I will put my camera on stand, you can watch me work. I decided not to use the filler, just the primer and uh, the paint, because all that uh, frame, it will be hidden behind the, the gasket or the seal, so it doesn't matter what it looks. And uh, in this light, the back door seems to be okay, but if you uh, watch closer, you can see the color difference all over it but it doesn't matter 
the frame is the most important and now it's uh, uh, quite okay. I, I think I will just put a layer or two still and uh, it's also painted from other side but uh, in this side I mostly used a primer so because nobody sees this side <laughs> and uh, I think it will be okay as you can see there's some some spots I uh, didn't paint because I don't want this to look too uh, painted or repainted I just want to see the patina in in that back door too and uh, while I'm waiting the paint dry I have prepared the window I first I remove the the gasket and uh, used some silicone uh, gave it a silicone treatment after that I cleaned the, the that glass and used this soap water to fit the gasket <clears throat> and I sprayed also uh, some soap on on the whole whole gasket uh, for the installation but now it can be rest here on the hood while I'm painting the rear door. I think I will put layer O2. Now the door has dried 24 hours and it's ready for water sanding. I have a paper here. I will start with uh, P800 and I will finish it with P1500. Uh, it's not perfect. As you can see, there's some color differences here, but I didn't paint the whole whole door. It's uh, okay to look a little bit rough. As you can see, there are some patina there. So now the idea is just uh, water, uh, water sand it. And uh, then I will polish it. And then I will install the window, which is waiting over there and uh, maybe even install the whole door.
Yep, now it's sanded, uh, cleaned and waxed. As you can see, there is already some shine coming, <laughs> coming out. It's not perfect. And uh, actually, it's just like I wanted. There's still the patina left. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, some unpainted marks and so on. So it's just like the, the rest of the car. And I didn't want it this to, to come uh, too clean <laughs> because I want to I want to keep the rough outlook. I will focus on the technique of that car. It's a, it's a, like a sleeper to be so. That's my goal. It's a look a little bit old and rusty, but goes like. A, well, you know, <laughs> uh, I just used uh, basic from uh, from local store, the cleaner, correct cleaner first, and then the wax, hard wax, uh, nothing special. So now they should be, or the, now, now the back door should be ready for, for the window. Finished product, <laughs> ready for installation. Now it looks uh, much, much better. There's no uh, black paint going down, no rust issues in this side at all. And uh, it's just waiting for me to put it back. I have now everything ready. Uh, I have two bolts on both sides and I already put these rubbers here on both sides. They should be okay. As you can see, there's still some rust issues in the body, but I don't mind that. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and I have the handle and locking mechanism. I just noticed that I'm missing one, one of these uh, register light. I don't know where it is. I tried to find it. Uh, the pump, which is not working properly, I think, and wiring. Some of these are for the uh, wiper, which I don't put back, and I think some one of these is for the for the register light. But I have to figure that wiring out la later. But next, I will put the back door on its place and the camera on stand.
job done. I have the pump and locking mechanism and check this. It closes like it should. Ah, and I put some VD40 so it's working quite well. It's locked. But when I'm pressing the release, what? Nothing happens because I'm missing some parts and I know where I don't know where they are. Uh, but I can open it. I have to break break in. I have my tool here. Yes, easy job. <laughs> but now I tell you what I'm missing. The locking me mechanism outside looks okay, but. I'm missing some gear from inside. There's the lock and uh, there's the, what do you call this, lever or the lever is going there and uh, it should, should attach to something, but I'm missing that. And uh, when I'm pressing the release from outside, you can see the locking mechanism is, is moving but there's also something missing <laughs> and uh, from here when I'm pulling this it releases the lock so this works but I'm missing some some parts from the middle and I'm also missing the uh, windscreen the what do you call that what goes like this so I think these parts are there where that is, so I have to just have to find it from somewhere. But otherwise, it closes and uh, it stays shut, which is nice. <laughs> Job done. Nice to have the back door back on. It's, uh, it's much quieter and uh, much warmer car, at least in winter time <laughs> when I'm having the back door. And um, just missing a few things. I just have to figure out where they are. I have them, I'm sure. But um, I just have to find them. But hey, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and comments down below. That would be a great. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, now it's a perfect time to do that. And also ring the bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon.